The deep ocean is a mysterious place. Here's a list of deep sea creatures which scientists still know hardly anything about, and the last one is said to have been the inspiration for the Alien films. The big fin squid has captivated the interest of marine biologists and ocean enthusiasts alike due to its unique and eerie appearance. These squids are characterised by their disproportionately large fins which can be as wide as their body length, giving them an almost ghostly silhouette in the dark depths of the ocean. The first observation of an adult's big fin was only in 1988, at an incredible depth of around 15,000 feet off the coast of northern Brazil. Since then, sightings have been rare, with only around a dozen spotted, and the majority of those appearing in the last 5 to 10 years. These sightings have been recorded in various parts of the world, including the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and off the coast of Hawaii, indicating a widespread distribution in the world's oceans. Whilst the body or mantle of these squids can be up to 2 metres in length, their tentacles, which are extremely long and thin, can extend far longer, with some observations suggesting tentacles up to 15 to 20 metres long, which is around the same length of two school buses. The diet and hunting strategy of the big fin squid remains speculative due to the lack of direct observations, but it's believed rather than being an active hunter, they instead use their long tentacles to ensnare prey. The tentacles equipped with small suckers likely drift and dangle in the water, creating a trap for small fish and other marine organisms. This would go some way to explaining their eerie hovering stance, with elbowed tentacles angled to create a larger area to catch their prey. But still, much about these squids remains unknown, including their reproductive habits, life cycle and ecological role in the deep sea environment. Their rare sightings and ghostly appearance continue to intrigue and challenge scientists, making the big fin squid a symbol of the mysteries that lie in the unexplored depths of our oceans. But far from being scared of the big fin squid, the next creature on our list would merely see it as a tasty snack. The sperm whale remains one of the ocean's most mysterious giants. These monsters inhabit the deep waters of oceans worldwide, from the equatorial regions to the frigid edges of the Arctic and Antarctic. Adult males can reach sizes of up to 20 metres or 67 feet and weigh as much as 125,000 pounds, which is about the same weight as an M1 Abrams tank, making them the largest toothed predator on the planet. Sperm whales have a specialised diet primarily feasting on deep sea cephalopods, which are often giants themselves. In this clip, we can see a sperm whale with the remains of a giant squid still in its jaws, and many specimens have been observed with significant scarring, thought to be a result of intense battles with these huge squid. These giant predators are capable of diving to depths of over 2,000 meters and holding their breath for up to 90 minutes. These dives are not only remarkable for their depth and duration, but also for the acoustic prowess sperm whales exhibit. Sperm whales can make a strong clicking sound and transmit these clicks for short range echolocation during the process of approaching and capturing prey, much like sonar. But what's even more incredible is the sheer power of these sounds. As they quickly approach their prey, sperm whales will increase the volume and frequency of these clicks, emitting the loudest sound of any animal on earth. The clicks are so loud they stun the prey, making for an easy catch. In fact, it's believed the force of these clicks are so powerful that the vibrations alone would be enough to kill a human. Even relatively quiet clicks have been known to paralyse body parts of nearby divers for a number of hours. But the best way to understand this sound is to hear it for yourself. So I'm going to go quiet now and let you listen to a recording of these incredible clicks. And keep in mind, the ones you're about to hear are only relatively quiet clicks used for investigatory purposes. Mm -hmm. 
Despite their prominence in maritime history and literature, sperm whales were not systematically studied until the whaling era of the early 19th century, which unfortunately also marked a period of significant decline for the species due to hunting. This historical exploitation, combined with their elusive deep sea lifestyle, means that much about the sperm whale's biology and ecology remains shrouded in mystery. Scientists continue to unravel the complexities of their social structures, communication methods and breathing behaviours, but many aspects of their life are still poorly understood. The sperm whale might seem like one of the strangest whales in the sea, but it's positively normal compared to the next elusive creature on our list. The narwhal, often referred to as the unicorn of the sea, is a medium-sized whale known for the long spiral tusk protruding from the male's upper jaw. This mystical creature primarily inhabits the cold arctic waters around Greenland, Canada and Russia, preferring the deep channels beneath coastal ice or pack ice for its habitat. Narwhals are modest in size compared to some of their relatives, with adults typically measuring between 4-6 to six metres in length. However, the male's huge tusks can add an additional 2 to 3 metres. These whales primarily feed on fish, squid and shrimp, for which they employ a suction technique to draw their prey into their mouths, indicative of a specialised hunting strategy adapted to the Arctic's dark, icy waters. While narwhals have been known to the indigenous Arctic peoples for millennia, the first recorded discovery by Europeans dates back to the 12th century by the Norse and Greenlandic peoples. Despite their long-standing recognition, narwhals remain among the least understood marine mammals, partly due to their remote and harsh living conditions. The logistical challenges of conducting extensive research in these environments mean that many aspects of the narwhal biology and ecology, such as detailed mating rituals and migration patterns, are still shrouded in mystery. But by far the most captivating aspect of the narwhal is its iconic tusk which is actually an elongated upper left canine tooth. It's not known for sure exactly what this tusk is for. It was once thought to be a weapon, however, recent studies suggest the tusk may serve a more sensory function, detecting changes in the narwhal's environment. But even with that giant tusk, I'd still prefer to swim with a narwhal than I would the next creature on our list. The giant squid is perhaps the most commonly known creature on this list, but there's still so much we don't know about this mysterious giant of the deep sea. Dwelling in the dark, cold depths of the world's oceans, these remarkable cephalopods are believed to inhabit the deep continental and island slopes, with sightings and strandings suggesting a global distribution. Giant squids are among the largest invertebrates on earth with females typically larger than males and can grow up to 13 metres or 43 feet in length. Much of their diet remains speculative, but evidence from stomach contents and sucker marks on escaped prey suggests they feed on deep sea fish and other squid species, employing their powerful tentacles and huge beak-like mouths in a predatory strategy that remains largely unseen by human eyes. The first scientific recognition of giant squid came in the early 19th century through beach strandings and remains found in the stomach of sperm whales, their only known predator. However, the first live sighting in its natural habitat didn't occur until the early 21st century, highlighting the significant gaps in our understanding of these mysterious beings. Their reproductive strategies, lifespan and social behaviours are subject to much speculation with little concrete evidence. But perhaps one of the creepiest aspects of the giant squid are its enormous eyes, which are among the largest in the animal kingdom, measuring up to 10 inches in diameter, which is just slightly smaller than a car steering wheel. These eyes are thought to be highly adapted to detect the faintest traces of light in the deep ocean, aiding in the detection of predators and prey. The next creature in our list is one of the most elegant giants of the sea weighing about as much as a rhino, but with all the grace of a swan. With its majestic wingspan and gentle demeanour, is one of the ocean's most beautiful creatures. 
these gentle giants prefer warm tropical and subtropical waters and are often found in open oceans near coral and rocky reefs, although they often dive deep and can reach depths of up to 1,000 meters. Their distribution is worldwide, from the Indo-Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean. Giant mantas are the largest species of ray, with wingspans that can exceed 7 meters or 23 feet, making them one of the most impressive spectacles in the marine world. Despite their size, they feed mainly on plankton, small fish and occasionally crustaceans, employing a unique filter feeding strategy, swimming with their mouths open to funnel water and food particles over their gill rakers, which trap the food while allowing water to pass through. While manta rays have been known to seafarers for centuries, the first scientific description of the giant manta was provided in 1798. However, much about their life, including their migratory patterns, reproductive behaviour and lifespan remains shrouded in mystery due to the sparse distribution and difficulty of studying these creatures in their vast open ocean habitats. One of the most intriguing aspects of the giant manta ray is its high level of intelligence and curiosity. They're known to interact with divers and exhibit complex behaviours such as coordinated feeding and social interactions. Recent research has shown that giant mantas have a large brain relative to their body size, which is thought to support complex navigation and problem solving. The next creature on our list doesn't quite have the calming beauty of the giant manta ray, in fact, its appearance is more akin to a well-known count of Transylvania. The vampire squid's Latin name is Vampyrimothedus infernalis, which literally translates to the vampire squid from hell. It's a mysterious creature, inhabiting deep tropical and temperate oceans worldwide. These incredible cephalopods dwell in extreme depths, from 2,000 to 3,000 feet. Despite its menacing name, the vampire squid is not actually a bloodsucker. In fact, it doesn't even hunt for its food. Instead, it employs a unique survival strategy adapted for its nutrient-poor habitat. This squid collects organic debris that fall from the upper layers of the ocean, known as marine snow, using two long appendages and consumes these bundles of detritus. Among its most fascinating features is its appearance, with a dark, velvety body, large red eyes and webbed arms resembling a cloak, and it's this cloak which gives it its vampiric name. When threatened, it can invert this incredible cape, displaying large spines that line the underside of its limbs adding even further to its vampire-like aura. The first scientific description of the vampire squid was made in 1903, but despite over a century of awareness, the species remains shrouded in mystery. Its deep sea habitat make observations challenging, leaving much of its behavior, reproductive strategies, and life cycle largely unknown. One thing we do know is that the vampire squid also has bioluminescent capabilities, it can emit light from photophores located along its body, possibly to confuse predators or perhaps to reduce its silhouette in the dimly lit waters. In the perfect example of how names can be deceiving, the vampire squid is a harmless and passive creature, and I think it's one of the most incredible squid we have in our oceans. Its existence highlights the staggering adaptations life can develop to ensure survival, even in the most inhospitable environments on Earth, but there is still so much to learn about this false Dracula of the sea. And whilst we're on the subject of mysterious creatures labelled after famous namesakes, the next creature on our list gets its curious name from a well-known flying elephant. The Dumbo octopus takes its name from the Disney character due to its prominent ear-like fins. This unique looking octopus simultaneously manages to be one of the most ghostly and cutest creatures in the ocean. These octopus inhabit extreme depths, ranging from 1,000 to 16,000 feet, making them one of the deepest living octopus species. Dumbo octopuses can be relatively small compared to many cephalopods, with sizes varying greatly among species within the genus, but typically ranging from 8 to 12 inches in length. Their diet primarily consists of crustaceans and worms, which they hunt on or near the seafloor. 
they employ a unique hunting strategy for the deep sea conditions, hovering over the sea bottom, using their arms to probe the sediment and capture prey, which they then swallow whole. The first Dumbo octopus species was described in the late 19th century, but due to the challenging nature of their deep sea habitat, much about these creatures remains a mystery. Their elusive lifestyle and the technical difficulties associated with deep sea exploration contribute to the gaps in our understanding of their behaviours, reproductive strategies and life cycles. We do know this fantastic octopus has a soft, gelatinous body that can change colour to blend into its surroundings, providing camouflage from predators. Their rear-like fins aid in their swimming, allowing them to move gracefully through the deep sea currents. The combination of their incredible range of coloration and the mysterious nature of their deep sea environment continue to intrigue scientists and deep sea enthusiasts alike. But the next creature on our list couldn't possibly be labelled as cute, but rather one of the strangest entries in the shark family. The mega mouse shark was first discovered in 1976 off the coast of Hawaii marking it as a relatively recent find in the world of marine biology. These sharks dwell at depths of at least 15,000 feet. Its presence has been recorded in various parts of the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans, indicating a wide but sporadic distribution. Mega mouth sharks can grow quite large, with some individuals reaching lengths of up to 18 feet. Despite their size, they are filter feeders, primarily consuming plankton, jellyfish and small fish. Their unique feeding strategy involves swimming, with their massive mouths held wide open, filtering food from the water similar to a basking or whale shark. An interesting aspect of the mega mouth is its adaptability in terms of depth. It's known to undertake significant vertical migrations, staying in the deep waters during the day and moving closer to the surface at night to feed. Given its deep sea habitat and elusive nature, much about the mega mouth shark remains a mystery. Sightings and captures are extremely rare, with only a few dozen confirmed cases since its initial discovery. As a result, each sighting of this rare species provides further valuable insights. But whilst the mega mouth is a relatively gentle shark, the final creature on our list could be described as the stuff of nightmares, and was reportedly the inspiration behind Ridley Scott's Alien. The goblin shark is a rare deep sea shark that presents an almost prehistoric appearance, with its notable pink skin and distinctive elongated snout. First discovered off the coast of Japan in 1898, it's also referred to as a living fossil because its lineage dates back some 125 million years, making it a unique representation of shark evolution. This rather ugly shark resides in the upper continental slopes, marine canyons and seamounts, typically at depths ranging from 300 to 1,300 meters, though it has been found at even deeper depths. Sightings have been recorded globally, from the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans to the Gulf of Mexico and the Indian Ocean, indicating a wide but sparsely populated distribution. The goblin shark generally measures between 10 to 13 feet in length, its diet consists mainly of deep sea cephalopods, crustaceans and fish. One of the most fascinating aspects of the goblin shark is its unique hunting mechanism. It uses its highly extendable jaws to rapidly snap forward and capture prey, aided by its small but very sharp teeth. Much about the goblin shark's life remains a mystery, including its reproductive strategies, life cycle and social behaviours. Encounters with this shark are infrequent, and most of what we do know has been learnt from individuals caught by deep sea fisheries. Another interesting feature of the goblin shark is its peculiar snout, which is thought to be used for electrolocation to detect prey in the dark depths of its environment. Its pink coloration, a result of blood vessels beneath a semi-transparent skin, and its flabby body add to the shark's unusual and somewhat eerie appearance. But whilst the goblin shark is undoubtedly one of the ocean's strangest sharks, it's very far from the largest. In fact, the depths of the ocean are home to some of our world's true giants, 
thanks to a phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism. And to learn more about some of the largest creatures inhabiting our deep oceans, you can watch my video here, where I take a look at some of the strangest giants of the deep sea. And if you enjoy learning about our ocean's most incredible creatures, don't forget to subscribe for even more information on the fascinating creatures which lie beneath the waves.